Today's topic is rewriting. And if you've got five minutes, I've got five tips to help you write your second draft of anything. One thing most of us who write know that no matter what it is that you write, the first draft of anything that you write is probably going to be shit. And I'm not the only person who has ever said that. Ernest Hemingway was probably the most famous person who ever said it, and editors have been saying it ever since. But the good news is that it's okay. It's okay for everything you write the first time around to be nothing but crap, because that's what rewrites are for. I think you probably already know this, but the truth of it is that long form writing in particular, but also magazine articles, blog pieces, but as I said, long form writing in particular is likely to go through many iterations before it gets to a form that can actually be published. So I have five tips for you to help you to rewrite your first draft into a second draft. But before we get to that, I want to say a couple of words about first drafts. Now, in some senses, the first draft of anything that you're writing, whether it's a book, a magazine article, a journal article, is your first opportunity to just get all of your thoughts down onto paper or onto a computer file. And it's a good thing to keep in mind is that a first draft is not meant to be brilliant and it's not meant to be fully formed in any way, shape or form. And the problem is that if you think your first draft is brilliant, then I think you need to give your head a little shake and I, need, I think you need a dose of reality. But I also think we need to be cautious about certain kinds of generalities that are made about first drafts. Quite often when I'm reading on the internet about people writing about first drafts, they talk about the fact that a first draft is usually long and rambling and you need to begin to cut, cut, cut when you get to your first revision. I think you need to be, as I said, very cautious about that idea because for many writers, and I'm one of those writers in this second category, that uses a first draft simply to get the ideas down as quickly as possible, to get the story out of my head and onto the paper. And if you're like me, your first draft is going to probably be somewhat sparser than other people who write everything in their first draft and need to cut. Well, now that we have that out of the way, let's get on with my five tips. Tip number one, put your first draft away for a week or two before you begin your rewrite. This allows you to give yourself some distance and some breathing space. It allows you also to perhaps think up new ideas, but I would suggest to you that you be very careful about going back into your draft at that point. Write those ideas down in your journal and keep them with you as you go about your rewrite once you finish that breathing space. Tip number two, do not seek feedback on your manuscript until it is in second draft form. A first draft is for your eyes only. I can't stress this enough. Don't let anyone else read your manuscript until it is at least in its second draft form. The problem at this stage is that the person reading it will either tell you it's wonderful and that can't be good for you because you won't make the kinds of corrections that you need to make or that person will tell you it's shit and you don't need someone to tell you everything that's wrong with it at that point. You need to be able to fix some of those things yourself before you move on. Now I will say that if you have a very, very close ally or friend, someone whose opinion you highly value and who, with whom you can have a really frank conversation about your writing, that might be a person that you might share a first draft with. Apart from that, I would say absolutely do not let anyone else read it. Tip number three, look for and be prepared to add detail to your manuscript wherever that's necessary. As I mentioned earlier, I'm one of those writers who writes a bare bones first draft. This means that this second draft that I'm writing, the first revision that I do, gives me the opportunity to add in the detail that adds the richness to the story or that simply adds to, for the writer's interest or for the writer's better understanding of what the story is all about. And this for me works whether I'm writing fiction or non-fiction. And as some of you know, who've been watching me for a long time, I started my career as a non-fiction writer. Tip number four, look for and be prepared to cut too much information. 
Now this TMI, this too much information, is often a writer putting in every single thought that he or she has or every single bit of research that's been done as background. If you're writing fiction, for example, you will have had to do research on a whole lot of things. You might have done research on a city that someone is located in, on a, some kind of an activity that they're doing. You might have done historical research if you're writing historical novel. But not everything that you research and every piece of information, interesting or uninteresting, needs to go into your manuscript. If it doesn't help to move the story forward or make your point or achieve your objective, then leave it out. And writing the second draft allows you to do that. Tip number five is your second draft doesn't have to be perfect either. Remember that this second draft is probably only the second of several iterations that this manuscript will go through. And it's very likely that you are going to actually go to beta readers to have them give you some feedback on your manuscript. And that's where you will begin to add in the information that comes from outside sources. Well, those are my five tips, but it also leads me into where we're going in the next video. In my next video, I'm going to talk about beta readers. Until then, happy writing. Subscribe to Write, Fix, Repeat. And maybe I can help you improve your writing knowledge and skills. Five tips at a time.